Hey, while you're here, hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell because that'll give you notifications every single time a new video drops. And also, it helps to keep this channel alive and growing. Thank you in advance. Now let's get back to the program. Hello everybody, this is the BBN, Jack Frost speaking. And I'm very saddened to bring this particular story to light, but... Uh, there was a man who was just recently let out of prison. <laughs> After He's been in, basically been in prison since about the 60s for killing six of his own children. Okay, first of all, he was accused of poisoning. And just to be honest with you, I mean, back in 1960s, I'm pretty sure they didn't already have the, uh, you know, uh, the research to show that most of the time when people are poisoned, it's not men doing the poisoning. It's women doing the poisoning. This is not a, a knock on females. This is just, you know, that's just usually how it goes. So um, basically the article that I got out of the Daily News says at daybreak on October 25th, 1967, Annie Mae Richardson of Arcadia, Florida, got up to prepare, prepare the day's meals for her husband and her seven children. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like right here, it says that the, the, the wife got up to prepare the meals for the husband and the seven children, right? For lunch. So uh, what ends up happening is they have a babysitter. So they have uh, the oldest children. Uh, one is eight. The other one's seven. The other one's six. They headed off to school, and then they had uh, another one that was five, another one that was four, another one that was three, and another one that was two. They stayed with the babysitter so uh the children go to school come to find out that they don't make it all all except for one die that day pass away that day the other one lives until the next day and then they pass away so heard what the first line was he didn't even prepare the meals so uh that afternoon when when he was told about and they were fruit pickers they picked fruit so, uh, you know, they weren't necessarily well off. So um, when the couple arrived, you know, find out about, you know, what had happened. You know, it's horrible. They was obviously broken up, uh, you know, mentally and, 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 you know, it hurt. So uh, the father was accused. And one of the main reasons why the father was accused of the murder is, is because after... The autopsy was done and it was proven that uh, the kids were were poisoned with, it says, parathion poisoning? I don't know. P-A-R-A-T-H-I-O-N poisoning. Somehow, the uh, <laughs> coincidentally enough, the babysitter and the babysitter's boyfriend ends up pointing out a bag that was in the shed where the poison actually was and somehow this was attributed to the husband and the reason in which why the husband was accused was is because the night before a uh, life insurance people came to give the family a group life insurance plan but I don't even understand why he was accused of doing the murder or, or plotting the murder planning the murder or murdering or having anything to do at all with the death of his children due to the fact that he couldn't even scrape together the dollar and forty cents for the premium, so there was no. There was no motive. He couldn't even get the money together, to to get the. The plan to pay for the plan. It, there was no motive, but somehow that was a motive. And he was uh, sentenced to the death penalty. Because of that motive, and because of you know those ever reliable jailhouse snitches. Who swore that Richardson confessed. He had a five day trial. He was convicted. After about 90 minutes. And he was sentenced to the electric chair. He sat on death row until 1972. When the Supreme Court. U.S. Supreme Court. Declared that the death penalty was unconstitutional. And his sentence was commuted to 25 years to life. Now. The thing that broke the case and ultimately got him released recently, notice I say recently, is because in the mid-1980s, the babysitter, Bessie Reese, who had came down with Alzheimer's, was in a nursing home. And she started talking. She started telling everybody about how she killed the children. 
She told people how she killed the children around a hundred times between 1985 and 1987. A hundred times between 1985 and 1987 has she confessed. Now, just to learn a little bit more about the lady, because you could always say, oh, well, she's old and maybe it was guilt or whatever the case might be. Just to get a little bit more uh, about the lady, uh, Miss Reese, Bessie Reese. Um, she had two husbands who also ended up dying. The first one died after eating stool. Well, <laughs> poisoning and the second one she shot and because she said that he came after her she was sentenced to 20 years but she only served four and was out on parole i'm guessing at the time of this incident she was out on parole but all of this evidence was suppressed and the jury never got to hear any of this this black man yes black man was railroaded and this is what happened and there's just so many people who are in prison and in jail, especially in these times, as we all know, serving 40-year sentences, 50-year sentences, life sentences, even a one-day sentence is too much for an innocent man. And so, uh, on 19, and, uh, 1989, a judge set the conviction aside. A few days later, Richardson walked out. So he's been free since 1989, that is. Another 25 years would pass before he was awarded compensation. That's at $1.2 I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough for multiple different reasons. They pro they made him take that $1.2 because it's 25 years later. So he's probably been fighting, 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 and they've been saying no. They haven't been coming off, and they haven't been uh, forced to pay. But he definitely deserves more than 1.2 million. You had this man live in prison as somebody who killed his six children or seven children. He had to live in prison with that. And you're only going to, for to 1989, from at least 20 years. And you're only giving him 1.2 million. His, it, it, it should be some, it should be a lot more than that. But, you know. Very thankfully, he's not in prison, hasn't been in prison for 25 years, and he has got he has received some kind of compensation, which he isn't even going to probably be able to enjoy at this point, because he's old. He could go on some nice trips around the world, I guess, but, I mean, this is just terrible. And this is this is where our world is at right now. You know, uh, I'm, I'm very, well, at that point, this is where the world is at. I'm very happy that uh, this is just terrible that this happened to this man. Uh, the lady that was accused, everybody involved was black except for the sheriff. The sheriff was some white dude, obviously. But, um, and I'm assuming that the jury obviously was white also. But everybody else involved with the case, they were black. And, um, just railroaded each other. The lady killed the, that man's children and then sent him to jail for it. Anyway. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.